Tis. Duncan Haimba, KTN News. Leaders and Kenyans across the country are sending condolence messages to the family of former President Daniel Moy. This following the death of his son, Jonathan Toroitich Moy. President Uhuru Kenyatta said Jonathan will be remembered as a rally driver, successful farmer, businessman and entrepreneur. Brenda Kirubo with this and other condolence messages in this report. President Kenyatta described the late Jonathan Toroitich Moy as humble, kind, generous, and courageous. He said, quote, May the Almighty God rest the soul of our brother and friend in eternal peace. Deputy President William Ruto said, Tory Teach treasured family, friendships, and committed himself to bettering the lives of others. Dear dad, please come forward. AU Special Envoy Rail Odinga prayed for strength to the former president, Daniel Moy, and his family to bear the loss. We convey our heartfelt condolences to Mr. Moy and his family for the loss of this young man, Jonathan Moy. May the Lord rest his soul in eternal peace. Former President Moi Kibaki referred to Tori Teach as a private person that will be remembered for his breakthroughs in motorsporting. Former Vice President Kalonzo Musioka said, Kenya has lost a highly dependable leader, extending his heartfelt condolences. Amani National Congress Party leader said his thoughts and prayers are with the Moy family in this difficult time. Governors Lee Kinyanjui, Hassan Joho and Mike Sonko also gave their condolences. They appreciated his contribution to motor racing and mourned with the Moy family. The Standard Group CEO Orlando Liomu also sent a message of condolence. Mr. Liomu said the Standard Group Board of Directors, Management and Staff joined Kenyans in condoling the family of Mze Daniel Toritich Arap Moy and the people of Baringo County following the sad loss of his son. May Almighty God grant the family the strength and fortitude to bear the loss. Trade unionist and labor leader Francis Atuoli sent his condolences on behalf of workers in the country. Jonathan was so close to us as for my long time in public life, I was closely, I'm closely associated with the family of our second president of our republic. Kenyans also mourned with the Moy family. Nataka niseme pole tena kwa nduku zake, pipi yake Sylvia Moy, na watoto wote kwa jumla, na kwa clan ya Kapche Peres, kwa kupotesa uyu uh, shuja. Mekua kisaidia watu, tumesikia vila masaidia watu kwa nyazi, mashule, mayatima, ata mashishi. Akisikia kuna mashishi, atatumana. Na kwa ukweli, tunatumana rambi rambi setu kwa mze Moy, Na mandukusake, kina Senator Moy, kina Doris, kina June, tunawambia pole. Ni mtu ambaye alikuwa situsaidia kama wakaaji wa huku, ametujangia ametu mashule, ametufundisha mambo ya ukulima, ukulima biashara, ametuonyesha namna ya kufanya kutumia technology kama mambo ya kupiga maji kwa mtoni na kutumia ile tunaita resources. A sports enthusiast, farmer and businessman. May God rest Jonathan Toritich's soul in eternal peace. Brenda Kirubu, KTN News. Earlier in the day, I had a sit-down with Jimmy Kahumbura, a former Safari Rally teammate of the late Jonathan Moy, and I began by asking him how he could describe his departed friend. Listen in. Gentlemen, very helpful, and he enjoyed rally. Mm -hmm. He had a passion for it, and... He encouraged, I think I found him driving, I think I joined one year after he had started driving. And he encouraged us to take rally and do it. What are the most fond memories you have of the two of you together? He was driving a Group A car, that was the manufacturer's car, and I was driving a Group N car, same Toyota. Okay. And of course, we needed each other that if I broke my team went to help him if he broke and I was driving his team used to come and help me mm -hmm. and not that we had to do it but that is we had that kind of understanding okay 
what what did he love most about running racing he loved competition in cars and he told me that he started driving in the farm and then he did a bit a minute if i can do it in the farm i don't see why i can't do it with the big boys and that's how he started now running mm. and of course all the testing he used to do was in the farm not on the on the on the roads and he had a passion for it and it was good yeah. uh, what would you say was the apex of your careers together our apex is when we me and him i think it was 96 when he won the kenya national championship who was the champion on a group a car and i was a champion on a group n car mm -hmm. and that's when we there a bit a minute we have done it for about 10 years we have won it and we decided to stop what what was it like you know after racing once you're done how was it like would you go out have fun or was it after that everyone goes their separate ways running you no know, we had we, we did it for love mm -hmm. for love and for fun any time we do finish even if we don't finish is after that you know more we take two days to just be on a weekend friday saturday is any time we finish whether we finish or we don't finish is enough away from work what was your relationship like with with the uh, JT yes with JT you know i was still employed yes. he was not he was doing business and we never did business with him but it was a small town then we knew what anybody is doing he was more into farming than mm -hmm. than i was i was at the bank but then we became good friends forget about running we became people uh, friends we could meet for a drink can just have a meet and talk and then we used to have this thing of before the next event one week before the event we used to meet and just say what happened to last one how did what mistakes did we make mm -hmm. and then out of nairobi we used i used to go one day earlier and then we would meet and go for setting up setting up the car and then of course we could not drink but we could go and have the yamas and food and he used to like meat <laughs> so we had we had our, our days mm -hmm. i miss him i love i wish the family oh yeah and he was very close to me okay okay thank you very much huh? jimmy for making